Hey guys, so I am back and I'm here to do a quick swatch and review video for you for the pressed pigments from MAC. And I did mention in one of my hauls like a while back that I wanted to do a review and show you swatches of the colors that I have in my collection because I haven't seen too many videos showcasing these products. You see them here or there but no one really talks about them and I think they're great products and they're definitely fun products for you to check out. So I wanted to show you the swatches again of the ones that I have in my collection and then give you my overall thoughts so if you're interested in these you can get a feel for what you can expect and yeah, see if you want to actually check these out. So really quickly, I'm going to read what MAC says on their website for these. Just reading out the product description, it says, An intensely creamy highlighter offering extreme pearlescence and versatility of finish. Apply dry for a high shine or on damp skin for a dramatic wet look. Provides eye-catching sheer to moderate buildable coverage and natural dimension finish. Pressed pigment is delicate, so please handle with care. Now these cost $21 and they contain 0.1 US ounces of product and you might compare them to the smaller eyeshadows on the market. These are 0.05 so you're getting double the amount of product in these and even if you compare them to like the larger eyeshadows such as the Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadows, these are 0.07 ounces so you are getting more product here and they are a little pricey at $21 so I wouldn't say run out and get the gamut of colors. Pick a color that you might be interested or even two colors that you know you will use a lot because they are a little pricey compared to other eyeshadows on the market and even compared to glitter which these are most similar to they're like pressed glitter pigments they're still on the pricier end of the spectrum so they're definitely still worth a look but I wouldn't go out and break the bank I would still look at colors that you may be interested in and maybe grab one or two so you can play around with in your collection as for the packaging these come in the typical MAC black pot these come in the bigger packaging that you may be used to with the pro longwear eyeshadows so the pro longwear eyeshadows they are the same black pots they're the larger size they have a little tab that secures them closed and they do have a transparent lid so you can see the actual color through the packaging rather than having to open it up and see the color. So I find that handy because I do want to see the colors before I grab it. I don't want to have to open it to see what the color is. So I think it's great functional packaging, it's sturdy, it's secure and like Max said these are delicate pigments and I haven't had any issues with these smashing or breaking apart at all. I actually don't find these to be delicate. So MAC is just telling you to be careful with these if you're traveling because they may smash around. But they actually haven't smashed in my collection at all. Even when I use them they don't crumble or break apart. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. There are 16 shades available. I'm just going to swatch the ones that I do have in my collection which is the majority of them. So you can go ahead and see the colors swatched on my arm and see how they show up and how they would apply once you apply them to your eyelids. So as usual for eyeshadow products, I will be applying these over a primer and I'm gonna swatch them with a brush and I'm gonna do a couple of swatches with my finger as well. So first up we have the shade Flicker which is described as a pastel yellow. And this one is a very pale yellow gold shade. It looks almost like an icy gold because it has some silver to it. And that's how it looks when applied with a brush. Here it is also on my finger and I'll apply it damp. And as you can see it applies a little bit more evenly. But it still gives off the same pigmentation when it's applied dry with a brush. Next shade up is Light Touch, which is described as a high pearl powder in W10 shade. I don't know what that means. It's a very high shine color. It looks almost silver, but with a very light touch of peach going through it. And again, I'll apply this one damp on my finger. And as you can see, it just applies a little bit more evenly and smoothly than with a brush, but it still applies with the same level of intensity. Now that you've seen the color swatched with a brush and a finger, I'm just going to go ahead and do brush swatches from now. This one is Day Gleam, and it's described as a high pearl powder in NC30 shade. So if you have the foundation in NC30, it's meant to be a close match to that but with a high shine pearlized finish 
And as you can see, it's just a beige shade. It's kind of a skin tone shade with a lot of silver shimmer throughout it. Next up we have Deeply Dashing, which is described as a high pearl powder in NW55 shade. So this one is a deeper brown shade with silver sparkle throughout it. And it's a beautiful shade for a smoky brown eye. If you just add a hint of this in the center of the lid, it's absolutely gorgeous. So these are kind of the neutral shades in my collection. Next I'm going in with some of the more colorful shades. I'll start out with the purpley pink tones. This first one is Moth and it's described as a mauve with silver pearl. And as you can see, it's kind of a dusty lavender shade with a lot of silver pearl and glitter throughout it. Then we have the shade Amethyst, which is described as a purple with silver undertone. And this one is a very light purpley lavender shade with silver and it looks like it also has gold shimmer in it. it. When it reflects, it does give you this light gold reflect to it as well as a silver. Next we have this beautiful pink shade, it's called Rock Candy. And this one is a mid-tone fuchsia. It's a gorgeous pink shade, it's a medium pink shade, it's very rosy with a silver glitter to it. Absolutely beautiful for pink looks. Next we'll jump into some of the blue shades. This one is Blue Willow, which is a light icy blue shade. And when you swatch it, it comes off a little bit aqua because of the shimmer in it. It's an absolutely beautiful shade. It would go great with blue looks or even green looks because it has a slight aqua undertone to it when it reflects on the skin. Now we have the shade Smoky, which is described as a deep silver blue. And that's exactly what it is. It's a silver blue. It's not as deep as you would expect, but it's a nice medium tone blue with a lot of silver reflex. Again, a great color for blue looks. It would make a great blue smoky eye as well because it's a strong, shimmery, beautiful shade. Next up we have the shade Midnight, which is described as a vibrant deep blue. And this one is a beautiful navy blue shade with a lot of blue shimmer to it. It doesn't have silver shimmer like the other colors. This one has definite blue glitter and shimmer to it. It's absolutely beautiful. This would make a great deep navy smoky eye as well. It's a gorgeous deep blue shade. Now we're moving on to more of the silvery smoky shades. This first one up is Enlightening, which is described as a deep silver. And it's a beautiful metallic silver shade. It's absolutely gorgeous, has great shine to it. It's just so beautiful. It's not what I would call a deep silver. It's more of a medium tone silver. It's not really icy, but it's still not a deep like gunmetal silver. It's still a very icy silver. And this would make an interesting pop of color on a smoky look as well. Then we have the shade Black Grape, which Jacqueline Hill made super popular. A lot of people gravitated towards this after she used it in one of her looks. And it's described as a deep aubergine with multi-pearl. And I don't so much see the multicolored pearl in it. I really see the silver and like light lavender pearl to it. It's gorgeous. Again, it makes a great smoky eye. Jacqueline Hill did a great video with this one and it she really played up the color in this. This is a beautiful smoky color as well. And then last up in my collection and the darkest shade of them all is Jet Couture, which is described as a charcoal black. Now this one has that multi-dimensional pearl to it. This one is gorgeous. It's a deep gunmetal silvery black with gold and purple and silver to it. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I think this one would make the, an absolutely gorgeous smoky eye. In fact, I am tempted to do a tutorial with this one because it's so gorgeous. It is beautiful. So here you have it. Those are the colorful shades. They're, and these are so gorgeous. As you can see on my arm, they're sparkly, they're shimmery, they're high impact. They're, they're gonna give you a crazy high shine and it's not for the tame of heart. It definitely has to be something that you're looking for, that you're into. And you can kind of tone it down a bit so it just looks like a touch of glitter on your lids, but you can also build it up to this intense high frost sheen and it's so pretty. I think these colors are absolutely gorgeous. 
So now that you've seen the actual swatches, we can talk about the actual product and the formulation and how these work. They are a pressed pigment, which means they're not um, pressed eyeshadows. They're not a stiff formula. They actually move around pretty easily when you press them with a brush or with your finger. And you can apply them either with a brush or with your finger. I haven't found a big difference using them either way. And like Max said, you can use them wet or dry. Dry would give you a more loose glitter effect. That's what I did on my lids. I use them on my lids as an accent color at the center here. I use the Rock Candy shade and it gives a glittery accent and it's really gorgeous and you can pack it on and build it up like they said. It's from sheer to maximum coverage. So the more you build this up, you can get it more opaque. I like to use them as a sheer wash or if I'm going for a really bold look, then definitely pack them on. You can use them with a damp brush or, you know, use in a mix in medium or fix plus to apply them for a serious opaque finish. And these work great for smoky eyes. If you have a pop of glitter on the center of your lids, these look so gorgeous. What I like about them is that they have the benefit of being more eyeshadow like rather than loose glitter because the loose glitter you know gets everywhere it's difficult to work with you have to get a sealing product of some sort to have them adhere to your lid they fall all over your face but with these i find they have a formula that allows for them to stick onto the lid so you really don't have to worry about getting a separate adhesive for it to actually stick to your lids. These actually stick to your lids pretty well. But of course you can always use them with some kind of glitter adhesive or like a glitter mix in medium. They will definitely apply better or over a sticky base they apply and stick better. But again, they do not really have an issue with not sticking to your lids like some glitter products can. So overall, I think these are great accessory products. I don't think they are a must-have in everyone's collection. I don't think they are one of the base products that you would have in your collection. But I think if you love glitter, and if you love doing interesting looks, and you love doing pops of glitter, these are absolutely great. They have fun colors. They really work and apply really well. You get a lot of product, even though it, the pr the price is a little bit up there. So you have they have to be worth the investment to you. But I love them, and I love the effects that you can get from them. I love how they wear and how they apply. And I haven't had like glitter fall out all over my face. You may see a couple of glitter specks like under your eyes but it's not crazy all over the place and if you use like I said a mix in medium of any sort then they will definitely stick better and stick more but I haven't had an issue using them dry so so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys just showing you the swatches so you can see if these are products that you'd be interested in trying as usual I'll leave a full list of the products that I mentioned the colors that I mentioned down below and where you can pick them up as well as links to my Instagram Twitter and Facebook page where you can follow me along and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you bye